Welcome to Module Monday. Module Monday is a video series where I show off a cool PowerShell module I think you should check out each Monday. Uh, this Monday we're looking at Poshkit. Poshkit is a PowerShell module that provides um, terminal status information for your Git repositories as well as uh, Git auto completion or tab completion for Git commands as well as Git branches. So after you get Poshkit installed and imported, what you'll notice is anytime you're inside a folder that is a uh, Git repository, you're going to see uh, some indication inside your prompt about the current status of that repository. Um, in, uh, in folders that aren't repositories, that status will, will not actually show anything. So let's move back into my Universal Dashboard repository. And um, what you'll see is that if we make some changes to this repository, either in the local or the remote, our uh, terminal um, prompt here will actually update. So I'm going to go over to the remote here and just update the readme file to include um, a couple of exclamation points here. And we'll commit that. And now if we go back over to uh, this git, uh, or posh git terminal, um, if I do a git fetch to receive the current status of the master, you'll see that uh, the origin master now has a uh, change one ahead of this particular uh, local repositories branch. So if I were to do a git pull, um, we'll pull down that change and you'll see that our um, our actual uh, terminal prompt will update to indicate that we're now even with master. So just like you can kind of see changes that the remote may have, you can also see changes on your local uh, working branch. So let's actually go ahead and make some changes inside uh, our local branch here. Uh, I'm going to change a file, I'm going to delete a file, um, I'm going to add a file, and now if I go back to my prompt, and you don't have to actually type any git commands, you can just refresh the prompt by doing something like a clear screen, um, and you can see here that now it indicates that I have three three changes. I have an addition, which is this plus one. I have a change, which is this tilde one. And then I have a deletion, which is this negative one. So if I were to go ahead and actually um, add those changes and stage them, you'll see that it changes to um, a different color, pretty much, that these changes are uh, now staged. And if I go ahead and commit those changes, um, you'll see that now I have it indicating that my local branch is actually one ahead of master and if I were to push it would update the master with that one um, commit. So um, in addition to being able to uh, like kind of see the current status of branches you can also uh, auto complete commands. So if I type git and then start hitting tab you'll notice that uh, it starts tab completing all the different um, pretty much uh, commands that I can use with the git.exe. Uh, uh, additionally, uh, if you were to do something like git checkout uh, and start tab completing, it's going to start tab completing through all the branches that are available in both the local and in the origin um, for your git repository. So let's actually um, make some changes to some of the settings that are available for our git prompt here. So when you import the module, you will get a variable called git prompt settings. Uh, and this provides all kinds of settings for your git prompt. Um, so you can customize things like colors, the different characters that are used to indicate various things. Um, and then you can even override the prompt function so that you can add additional features to the prompt. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to customize um, the branch identical status um, to symbol. So right now it's, uh, here we'll actually, um, Reset hard origin slash master. And now you can see the indicator for the um, pretty much equality between the uh, remote and the local uh, is this uh, triple um, equal sign. But if I wanted to do something that maybe seems more familiar to me, I could actually update that git setting. So I'm going to set it to a double equal sign, which is something you'd see in like C sharp or JavaScript. And now you can see that it updates my prompt to include that double equal sign instead of. Um, the triple equal sign. So you could set that to pretty much any character you wanted to. In addition to being able to set the text, you can also set things like the color. So if I wanted to go from, I think this is cyan to magenta, you can see now uh, the current branch identical status to foreground color is magenta now. 
Um, and if you want to get a little um, crazier, what you can actually do is you can go ahead and modify the prompt uh, quite extensively. Uh, so all the prompts in PowerShell can be overridden using by defining a function called prompt, um, and pretty much what that's pretty much what uh, the current or Poshgate is doing. Um, but they also provide you with the ability to use the uh, git prompt script block inside your own prompt function. So that means you can customize the prompt however you see fit. All you really need to do is return a string from the prompt function, and that's what the prompt will output. Uh, in this case. Uh, I'm going to write um, some text before the actual git um, posh git prompt, and then I'm going to write some text after the posh git prompt. So this would allow you to kind of customize it um, to include things you know that might not be uh, posh git related into your prompt. So if I hit enter there, now you'll see that my prompt has all this additional text before and after the actual posh git prompt. Um, so you can kind of customize it even further to have pretty much anything you want inside that prompt. Um, so in this video, we went over uh, the basics of PoshKit and how to do some uh, customization of the settings of PoshKit. So if you like this module, you can get it from the PowerShell gal gallery using the install module. And if you enjoy these videos, subscribe to my channel for uh, new modules every Monday.